Well, hello, YouTube. Eugene here with a review on the Mushin Sentai Kirame Major DX Kirame Base and Weapon Machine Series 02 Machine Carry Set. Yes, friends. Let's go ahead and took the box right here. Machine Sentai Major. Right here it says DX Kirame Base and Weapon Machine Series 02 Machine Carry Set. Got a nice shot of the Kirame Base with the five machines and everything. And got a nice shot of Machine Carrier. And right here, this shows pretty much the contents of everything here in the set here. And so, here's the top of the box, here's the bottom of the box, here's the side of the box, here's the other side of the box, and here is the back of the box. Friends, pretty much everything I'm going to be showing you in this review of the Kirame Base and Machine Carry. Alright friends, so starting off this review off the DX Kirame Base and pretty much the contents here, well pretty much excluding... Uh, machine carry which I will get to a little later on in this review so let's go ahead and take a look at the contents we get one instruction manual then we get one sticker sheet yes friends I said it we get a sticker sheet here with the DX Kirame base and so anyway we get two slope pieces here then we get two pedestal L pieces which are the left side then we get two pedestal C pieces, which are the center. Then we get uh, two pedestal R pieces, which are the right side. And lastly, friends, we get two backboard pieces. So the Kiramid Basis color scheme is this pearly silver, giving it a metallic touch for a nice machine shine sheen to it. You can see the nice sheenness as I'm moving it back and forth thanks to my lighting here. And so taking a look at the backboard, got some nice molded details for the walls of the Kiramid Base. And of course got some uh, coarse grain, which is cool as well. You can see right here, got three sections here where the pieces do connect here on the backboard piece here of the Kiramid Base. And then uh, here is the back of the Kirame base here, or the backboard piece rather. And so anyway, next piece here, here is a uh, pedestal L. Again, nice on the details, mainly a platform for the machines, either in stone mode or machine mode. Uh, you can see the nice details and everything as I'm getting closer and, and the nice sheenness we're getting here from my light here because of the, the nice pearly silver here. And then here is the back. And so, anyway, uh, here is uh, Pedestal C. Uh, still, nice work on the molding, de molding details here. Uh, same thing like uh, Pedestal L. Uh, nice, nice, nicely done here in the, in the detailings here. And then, uh, here is the back. And then, so, anyway, here is uh, Pedestal R. Uh, pretty much the same as L and C. Uh, more nice detailings and everything. And then, uh, here is the back which can be a landing dock for Machine Jetta and Machine Helico, which is something you can do with the other pedestals as well. And so, anyway, lastly, um, we get this piece here. Here is the slope, and uh, nice and detail here, by the way, here. But pretty much, you know, a slope for Machine Chevalo and Machine uh, Mach. And so, so that pretty much when they can just slope on down here, you know, getting out, you know, coming out of the uh, Kirame base. And then uh, here is the back, nice and detailed. So assembling the Kirame base is very simple here. So all you gotta do here is pretty much put these two backboard pieces together. And it's not a, a permanent lock here. As you heard it clicked in and everything, it's not a permanent lock here. So you can uh, detach uh, the, these two pieces again and you can pretty much uh, put them back together again. So don't fret if you think this is gonna be a permanent lock here, cause it's not. But uh, anyway, so now uh, the fully assembled backboard piece can fully stand now. Now you can customize the Kirame base however you want. But I'm going to go ahead and do the formation of the Kirame base mainly for the Kirame stone modes of the machines here. So we'll go ahead and start by uh, taking this uh, pedestal C and put it in the center right here. And it clips in. So like I said, it's not a permanent uh, lock or anything. I mean, pretty much you, you can detach it how many times, you know, how, how many times, however many times you want, excuse me. And so here is pedestal R and uh, how you can tell if it's pedestal R or pedestal L, well, they got R stamped on the bottom of pedestal R. So that's pretty much how you can tell which is which. So pretty much uh, plug pedestal R right here. 
and then uh, the same thing with pedestal L just plug it in right here and so uh, go ahead now and uh, take the other pedestal R and plug it in right here and then the same thing with pedestal L here for the center section here and there you go so here is the Kirame base. It's not fully assembled yet, but this is the formation for the Kir for the uh, Kirame stone modes of the machine. So let me go ahead and get them all out here. So here we go with red and then green. And then we'll put blue. And then uh, yellow. And here we go with pink. And so... I'm going to go ahead and say this, friends. I'm not going to apply the stickers um, on the Kiermay base. So here's the sticker sheet one more time uh, for the uh, Kiermay base here. I mean, like I said, you can customize it however you want. But I feel that, you know, you really don't need the stickers here. I mean, mainly for a collector standpoint here. But the choice is yours. And, uh, you know, like I said, I feel the base looks nice without them. But a great storage capacity here and this Kirame base can combine with four other Kirame bases to make a whole base as this one is just half and I mean this is something you know mainly neat for us collectors here Next here is the DX Machine Carry. And Machine Carry comes with the Kirame base. And just like Machine Roller and Machine Left, the Machine Carry made its debut in Episode 5 of Kier Major and is also is considered as a auxiliary machine or a weapon machine for Kier Majin. So Machine Carry in her Kirame Stone Mode is the same size as Machine Roller and Machine Lifting. And uh, Machine Carry in her Kirame Me Stone Mode is the same mold as Machine Lift done. And so let me go ahead and get him out just to compare the two here. So here they are side by side here. Uh, mostly you can tell that it's, they're the, pretty much the same mold pretty much by this angle here. And uh, we'll see that a little later on whenever um, when they're both in their machine modes. A little later on in this review here. But you know just giving you a little glimpse here in that Kirame Me Stone Mode. That they kind of do have the same mold a little bit here. And here as well so but uh anyway so uh anyway so she's in this nice indigo clear parts all around uh, you can see um it's kind of hard to see but she's got the cure me seal which is hard to see right here but uh anyway but on the side here got some nice white accent here and white accent right here on the other side here and then here is the back top bottom and so um Anyway, so now to uh, the machine mode. Pretty much take this piece back and then fold this piece down. And then uh, we'll go ahead now and um, push this piece uh, um, piece and, uh, in to extend. And then uh, lastly, the, the last thing we got to do is pretty much collapse this piece in and we're done. So Machine Carry has a cool design of a flatbed truck and that indigo with the white accent looks great. And so anyway, uh, taking a look at the front here, the headlights in a nice speckled silver. Looks really nice here in the front here. And then uh, on the back of here now, now that the uh, trailer has been pu uh, pushed down and everything, uh, you can see a little bit um, better of the uh, Kirame seal right there, uh, which is uh, nice and sparkly there. But uh, anyway, you can see the wheels have that magic circle-like design that we've seen off of the Kirame Changer. And then uh, right here underneath the flatbed trailer, it's got the wheel. Looks nice under, um, under here, by the way. You know, nice in detail here, um, um, here also. And then uh, here's a nice uh, top view of the flatbed uh, trailer there. And uh, it's really nice here with that nice clear parts, you know. And uh, you can have the flatbed that bed trailer um, facing upward like this and of course friends uh, she can roll she can roll here with the uh, trailer upward but I mean you can uh, have it down and she can still roll with the uh, trailer down like this and uh, um, you know the other cool feature you can have other Kirame stones pretty much sitting on this trailer park um, this flatbed uh, trailer here, excuse me. So you, let's put a uh, lift on and roll in here just to give you a little example here. But, you know, I mean, this is a really cool 
um, feature here. And of course, you know, it's pretty much in her size here. You know, she can have Kirimi stones that are in her size to fit in her little uh, flat bed trailer there. So um, pretty much like she's carrying them into battle. So it's a feature I dig and it's really, really cool here. So time to compare machine lift on and machine carry in their machine modes. And like I said earlier, when I was showing off the uh, stone modes, that they both were the same mode. So uh, just to give you a little comparison here and just to show you that, you know, they, they, they're they both the same modes here, even in their machine mode. So I'm going to turn lift on the side here. And as you can tell, these two sections here on, on the two are both identical. So pretty much same modes with these two sections here only in a different color scheme here and of course the only difference is these two sections are different pretty much the forklift part and the uh, flatbed trailer so like i said same mode with these two but they both look cool together and i do i, I like the different uh, modes here they do here you know like i said it's just these two sections here on the two here and of course these two sections here that are different so now let's transform a Shin Carry into her weapon mode. And it's pretty easy. All you got to do here is raise up this section here. And then you can uh, drop this piece in. And of course, the little handle piece popped out. So let's go ahead and, and um, drop it down completely here. And so we are done. Pretty much making her to be a shield weapon here. And so this is pretty much why I brought out Kira Majin. And so we'll go ahead and just uh, put uh, Machine Carry into his hand. And so here you go, friends. And so this is pretty much called Karamajin Carry. And I like this feature. I really like this feature because it pretty much gives Karamajin a sword and a shield. And I do like the fact that they use a design of a flatbed truck to do this. And, you know, pretty much having the flat, um, fat flatbed trailer, excuse me, be part of the shield here, which is something I like here. And here's a different angle of it. And I'll just drop it down for a second here. But yeah, looks really cool all around. And I do dig that color scheme here. You know, having that indigo color is beautiful. You know, being a shield, you know. Well, friends, my final thoughts. Well, I pretty much gave you all my input, all the I feel about them and everything. But the Kirame base is a nice collecting piece for the Kirame machines. And, of course, Machine Carry, a nice addition to our uh, Kirame Major Mecha collection. So, yes, friends, I 100% 100 recommend them both. But if you want just the Mecha, I totally understand. But if you want the Kirame base... Hell, go pick up four of them and make a whole base. I mean, it's not only for the Kira Major Mechas, but it can be for other Sentai Mechas you've already gotten in the past. So, anyway, friends, like I said, um, it, the choice is yours on how you want to customize it and everything. If you want to put stickers on and everything. I mean, of course, I didn't put the stickers on mine, but by all means, if you want to customize and put stickers on and everything and do it any way you feel, it's totally up to you. So all I got to say is, friends, good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, that's it for this review. Please check out my blog. If you want to talk about my Facebook. And make sure, friends, you hit that bell icon to follow the video. And, of course, friends, this review on the Mushin Sentai Kira Major DX Kira Maid Base and Weapon Machine Series 02 Machine Carry Set. I hope you enjoy. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. Have a good day. And, my friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye, friends.